This is Bruce Jansen with Elsevier Global Medical News at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium where I'm with Dr. Jessica Frisk, a general surgeon at University of Linköping in Sweden, who's just presented a study of 45 women with a history of breast cancer and hot flashes who were randomized to acupuncture or hormone therapy. Dr. Frisk, tell us what you found. Well, it's really interesting because you know from before that the hot flashes can disappear with the hormone therapy, but with acupuncture we could actually decrease the number of flashes and stress by flashes with half, and that is after 12 weeks of acupuncture. Uh, and what we could see is that the effect actually lasts longer than we thought. It seems to last up to nine months after the treatment has ended, uh, which is a longer uh, effect than a placebo and it's also a stronger effect than placebo. And we don't think it's time that does this to the flushes because some of these women have had hot flushes for 20 years and then after four weeks of treatment the flushes has decreased to half number. So. Um, it's a decrease that is the same amount as uh, for the SSRIs, like Effexor and those medications. But without any of those side effects? Without the side effects, yeah. Uh, it also has other effects that we didn't expect, like uh, they sleep better and in quality of life forms, we can see that the anxiety decreases, fatigue decreases, somatic symptoms like pain uh, also decreases, which it doesn't do in the HT group as much. So what it does is uh, it decreases the hot flushes, not to the same extent as the hormone therapy, but it does increase well-being to the same extent as hormone therapy, uh, which is really interesting for these women who are seeking therapy. And uh, there are a lot of women seeking such therapy, yes? Yeah, and it's increasing number of women as well, because now with all these new medications, they tend to live longer, uh, and with the treatment, they actually have hotter, <laughs> more flushes and uh, more disturbing flushes than just m healthy menopausal women. So there's an increasing need for alternative th therapies for the hot flushes. Do you have a uh, do you have a concept of what the mechanism of uh, benefit is? We have ideas, and there are ideas uh, and theories. Uh, we do know that acupuncture does increase the endorphins cerebrally, uh, and it also increases the uh, serotonin uh, in the brain, at least in animal studies. Uh, so we do think that the endorphins and the serotonin uh, stabilize the thermoregulatory center, which is next to the hypothalamus, uh, and in that way actually uh, makes you less uh, sensitive for the hot flushes. We do know that there are some vasodilating uh, peptides, neuropeptides, uh, certainly one that's called CGRP, that we, do, that we do decrease at the same time as we give the acupuncture. So that seems to be mediator of the hot flushes. Uh, this is Bruce Jansen from the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium.